Yes guys, welcome back to another video and today <sighs> Manchester United 3 West Ham nil. What a performance today from Manchester United. I am so happy as you can tell from my face. Um that is three wins in a row now and hopefully we can start to build um which what has been a disappointing season we maybe we can go on a run start to pick up some points get into that fight for the top four we are only eight points off villa who are fourth so the top four race is on we've just got to keep consistent and hopefully martinez is not injured so um if you haven't already don't forget to drop a like and subscribe please let's get more subscribers i feel like you guys yes i'm getting the views um but not much subscribers coming in at the moment so yes can we please get more subscribers um it is free don't worry you don't have to pay anything just subscribe to the channel um so yeah so let's get into it so <sighs> hoyland what a player we have i've said it so many times he's he's got the ball 27th minute it's been a bit of a slow half for man united he drops the shoulder and bangs it in with his right foot bottom bins and you're like what a player we've got man and then garnacho gets the other two goals and we're winning three nil um and it was much a comfortable performance than wolves even though the wolves one was more you know like interesting like reactive and you know more intense but i'm i'm really happy with the performance today um three nil so let's get into the player ratings so in goal andrew and on at a six i think he made some good saves um didn't really have much to do though if you do think about it his passing was decent six Diego Delo, eight, my man of the match. He was absolutely superb today. Defending, attacking, passing, crossing, everything. Um he was really, really good today. And he he prevented a goal from Jared Bowen when we were winning 2 0. And then if if he hadn't had blocked that and it went in, then we were gonna be under pressure for the last twenty minutes. Um so I'd give him an eight and the man of the match. Maguire a six. I don't think he was good. Well, he he was okay for his first game coming back, but he's I I I rather Varane start, and that's no hate to Maguire. He was good at defending, done well, passing was good, uh, the diagonal passes, but he did make a couple of mistakes. Six, um, okay, Martinez a seven. I thought he was really really good. I just hope he is not injured. I really really hope that is not a serious injury. Um, hopefully he's back for our next game. Hopefully it's just Ten Hag took him off for precautionary you know like changes and that so he, uh, he doesn't pick up another injury but hopefully he's not injured because with him we play so much better luke short a seven as well so yeah he was good going forward and back and he makes such a difference helping out marcus rashford on that left hand side uh may in the midfield a six and a half i thought he was good he got taken off quite early i feel from ten Hag. i think it was around the the hour mark because maybe he was tired or he thought you know maybe Kobe Main who's a youngster don't want to put too much pressure uh, pressure on him so he took him off 60 minutes so I'd give him a 6.5 Casemiro a 7 good in the midfield blocked all the West Ham runs didn't really have didn't really let their midfield take control 7 um Bruno a 6 I don't think it was his best game and I don't think it was his best game against Wolves as well I think he's you know just falling and just falling off a bit but surely he'll come back to where he is um maybe it's just a bad patch of form at the moment from him so him a six garnacho an eight i thought he was as good as diego delo but because delo is a right back he doesn't get as much you know like recognition from man united fans because he's just a defender and he's not scoring any goals but he didn't as equally as a job as garnacho and i give garnacho an eight uh two good finish uh, two good finishes to kill off the game against West Ham, so I'd give him an eight. Rashford a six and a half. I thought he was okay. He was taking on players, a bit unlucky not to get his goal, so six and a half. And then Rasmus, 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 Rasmus. Um, I'd give Rasmus Hoyland a a seven. I thought he was good. He he took his goal. Uh, it was a really really good goal. Pressing well tackling well shooting well he only had two chances guys and he took one of them chances really really well so i'd give him a seven and then eric ten hag our manager i would give him a seven i thought the squad was decent well the team that we played today was really really good the benches the changes was good as well so i'd give him a seven so guys if you haven't already don't forget to drop a like and subscribe 
uh, we are we are on the road to 150 subscribers so if you haven't already don't forget to drop a like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video peace